everywhere. Tenants are seeing this and they're like, oh my God, the government is doing nothing to protect me. Actually, they're taking steps backwards. Montreal tenants uniting, hoping to get enough pledges for a rent strike in the fall, opposing Quebec's Bill 31, the housing crisis and skyrocketing rent. Over 200 tenants have signed on to strike in November. The way that this rent strike has been organizing is they're trying to get 5,000 participants to agree to go on strike if and only if that 5,000 tenant mark is reached. Anything short of that and the action won't be pushed forward. I have thus put my name forward as someone who would be potentially willing to go on strike. The rent strike is kind of like one of the ultimate tools that renters have. The intention here is to, you know, to target their their finances. You know, like if you can pull up this in an organized manner. We're demanding some action from the housing minister and from the government themselves. Um, and if 5,000 tenants were able to go on strike, that would demand a response from the government. There would be no way around it. But many are left wondering how tenants can refuse to pay rent without serious consequences. Fortunately, it's incredibly difficult to be evicted in Quebec, especially for simply withholding rent for a political purpose. Before any tenant can be evicted, they have to be brought before a judge, and a judge will order them to pay. And if you pay upon ordered, the eviction won't go through. Renters adding there are also protesting Quebec's Bill 31 that, among other things, stops lease transfers, a tool used by many tenants to keep rent costs low. There's a lot of small language changes, like, you know, uh, social becomes affordable. So we're no longer looking at programs dedicated to social housing. We're looking at programs that are opened to the private sector, um, encouraging private speculators and developers to uh, be in charge of our housing stock. We know that we cannot trust them to build actual affordable housing. There's, like, there are a lot of protections written into the Quebec law for tenants, but there's no mechanisms enforcing them and making sure they're followed. Housing advocates and organizations saying they are planning to take to the streets of Montreal in the coming weeks to continue their protest. In Montreal, Brittany Enriquez, City News.